It's Friday morning. I'm out here trying to beat the rain. It's not going to rain for about an hour or two. So I'm going to try to put up this welded wire fence. I have the uh, framing all stained white. It's not painted, it's stained. So you can still see a little bit of the wood grain through it. And I like that better than painting because I don't have to worry about the stain chipping off versus paint. The paint's going to chip off. The stain, it's in the wood so it can't chip off. So to put on this uh, five foot tall welded wire fencing that you see here, I have these galvanized staples that I'm going to pound in with a hammer. Now pounding these guys in is going to be difficult because I'm not going to have anybody else here to help me hold up the welded wire fence while I pound them in. Um, I'll make the best of it. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I need a third hand or another person. with where I'm at on this I made it all the way around stapled in top and bottom to about here yeah to that post and then I decided I thought it looked a little wavy and I decided to go through and take all the staples out now it's obviously worse now than it was before because I took the staples out but my recommendation for you guys is you ever do something like this put the staples in lightly not all the way so that you can still move this around if you need to and adjust it all right that's what I ended up doing here for this so you can see if I need to I can adjust it and move it around and then once I get it in the right spot then I'm gonna go back through and pound all those in another thing I'm gonna recommend is use clamps to hold it up at the ends and that'll really make it a lot easier. You won't have to wrestle as much. So I got to pull this tight, get those waves out. And I worked too hard on this to make it wavy, not perfect. I went to Barnes on Catawba here and got a bunch of topsoil. I've been taking that into the garden here and trying to fill in some of the low spots. I finished putting up the welded wire, so I'll take you around and show you what that looks like. Here's where the door is going to be. I haven't had a chance to build the door yet, but uh, it'll be there. Got some low spots in here like that all the way around. I'm trying to fill it all the way up to where the welded wire is. So I'm just going around filling in the low spots. And uh, there's the welded wire. I still need to put up a 2 by 4 by 12 up there across the top on that one. The well, welded wire looks really great from the inside, looks great from the outside. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I put a bunch of compost in there and uh, needed to mix it up with some sand, so I took care of that. I added some topsoil, went to barns, got some real nice topsoil, uh, which their topsoil is just compost and sand, so that's why I mixed mine with some sand. It really wasn't draining too well. Um, rototillered it, got it all flattened out, planted half of it. So this half the garden's planted already. I just need to get um, the other half planted. But this side I'm waiting. This is uh, for my more tropical plants or sun thirsty plants because that's the sunniest part. So um, that's where I'm putting some of my vegetables that I've been growing inside that I can't take out till later. And then right here, 
is where I'm growing some Thai long beans. And these Thai long beans, they grow to be about 12 to 20 inches long. They're green beans, but they're 12 to 20 inches long. It's incredible. Uh, but they need uh, supports to grow on. I wanted to say thanks for your guys' comments on my uh, video last week. That was really cool. Uh, I was really uh, happy to hear such positive comments from you guys. Um, I actually only had one person who flat out said no, they don't like the video. And I had one other person that said yes and no. But everybody else was positive and I was really impressed and uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, it made me feel really good about doing these videos. Uh, so thanks guys, I really appreciate you um, being so positive and, and nice, leaving such good comments. So thanks for the great feedback on that. 